Musical Jigglies. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Splatoon 2. Last time, we... I've kind of been to PAX since then. This time, we are going to continue on the A line of Deep Sea Metro and carry on. Far Out Station Blast from the Past. We get to select our weapon type. Recommended weapons have been given a Kamabo Co uh, seal of approval. The reward for passing each test differs based on the weapon, which weapon is used. Good luck. So we get the same reward in this case. We can just choose whatever we're most comfortable with. I think I'm gonna go, uh, rollers are fun. Let's do that. I don't really get to use them much. We can always switch out our weapon if we change our mind a second later, but once you go through the ticket gate, there is no going back. Five minutes on the clock. Oh, it's one of these. Looks like they're waiting for you. Time to make it rain. You know what they say, now it's rain time. Yeah, so I want to launch, my, okay, I didn't actually get to launch my curling bomb, that was my goal. So we gotta get this thing into the enemy goal, one against four. Oh, nope, ah, uh, no, okay, good, we got it. That's one kill. We're probably going to die at least a few times, but it is a-okay. Didn't get the kill, I was a little bit late. And you're over there. I can't use my sub weapon, it's locked out. I know you're over there somewhere. Ah, I had a feeling. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, two left, two left. I'm just gonna leave my options open so I can swim to the side of any two. Good thing I did. What? This is a new type of mission. We didn't see anything like this in Octo, uh, Octo Canyon, so I, I very much welcome something like this. It's a really fun idea for a challenge. Okay, one down. And then there's another one that's respawned over here, but, oh boy, okay. Okay, that one's down. Uh, let's just go for it. Shoot. Let's go! One try! I can see why the weapon selected didn't exactly matter. <laughs> there are new entries in the chat log, so I sent them along. Check them out sometime. We've also completed a set of mem cakes, and I haven't actually looked at the most recent ones that we've collected. Wait, let me make sure I understand you right. You completed a whole series? That's special, that's something else. I always wanted to see a full set. Well, the full set tells an interesting story, doesn't it? Hmm. One good turn deserves another. Try this on for size when you reach the promised land. Octoling Shades Acquired! We'll be able to use it once we've escaped from Deep Sea Metro. Wow, spoilers! I thought I was gonna die before then. Keep challenging those tests, young squire. I'll leave your gifts with the Elder Squid. And show me any more mem cakes you find. It's never a bother, I assure you. I wanna take a look at said mem cakes. So we have this one that we just earned, Inkling Squid. At last we meet, my so-called foe. But is our fate to spray this hate? Perhaps we'll learn in the depths below. You gaze seaward with azure hope. Between each blink you calmly think, as when you use a splatter scope. That one's clever, that's a really cute rhyme. The world I knew seems like a trap. I'm drawn now to the strange and new. Would my old friends think me a sap? Oh, I love Gruntilda and this just makes me think of her. We got time for one more, that was just a couple of minutes. Right on, gnarly rail station, bro! Let's -a go. Five tries, oh boy, when they're giving you more lives, uh, Sonic Unleashed taught me to be afraid of that. So, uh, don't forget your dodge roll. Wah, woo, uh, okay. I can just drop down, okay, good. 
So as we're making our way through this, a thing that I wanted to kind of establish early on is who exactly all the agents are. So we have Agents 1 and 2 of the new Squid Beak Splatoon being Callie and Marie. That's uh, pretty, I, I'd say that was pretty obvious. Agent 3, that we've heard so much about, is the protagonist of Splatoon 1. Agent 4 is the protagonist of Splatoon 2. Agents 5 and 6 are Pearl and Marina. To this day, we don't know who Agent, um, who Agent uh, 7 is. Agent 8 is this Octolink. I found that the snipers in this place can be avoided by just simply lying stationary as a uh, in octopus form. You don't really need to do anything else. It's really easy to deal with the snipers. Just so long as you're octopus, it's absolutely fine. Oh boy, oh wow! Oh my god, that was cool! Dodge roll in, and there it is! Beep, 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 boop, ba -da, beep, on this one, if you collect 50 eggs in one go, you get bonus rings, and if you get 100 eggs in one go, you get even more rings. You have now unlocked three lines. You can view them on the Deep Sea Metro map. None of the four fangs can be found here. Try searching on a different line. I'd like to offer you a reward for finding a new line. Please pay me a visit. So many things to do every single time we check in. Just everyone wants to talk to us. Look at us, we're so popular in this, um, uh, urban community? As a reward for arriving at a new line, allow me to grant you some CQ points. Please accept these 500. And now I'd also like to go read the chat log. So, the chat logs are going to more or less be the replacement of the Squid Sister stories, like I said. As such, uh, videos that have the chat logs being added in them will not have, like, little side topics. These will slow down over time, so there are still little side topics I'd like to discuss, but these are just going to replace them for a little while, because there aren't many of them left. Yo, I'm a cop some snacks! Peace! Okay, gotcha. MC Princess has left the chat room. Roger Dodger! FYI, I've been using the CQ80's coordinates to gather location data as Agent 8 passes each test. This place must be deep beneath the surface. It seems to be under the influence of a powerful magnetic force. Too powerful for conventional models to simulate, actually. Based on the numbers I'm seeing, powerful enough to distort space-time itself. Captain, have you observed any ab abnormalities in your surroundings there? I'm Okoru! Uh, is that supposed to be some kind of secret code? Or did you just butt text me? Bright and bad! Okay, definitely butt texting. Head and gray for us! Right. Uh, anyways, it's almost like your location is in a different dimension than Inkopolis. As long as Agent 8 keeps passing tests, we should be able to figure out what's going on. We'll support you as much as we can, Agent 8. Keep it up. We have our objective. As we complete more tests, it gives DJ Hyperfresh more material to work with with our location. Oh, also, session one has been updated? Oh, no, 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 okay, no, it just appeared as unread because I hadn't done any, I, yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, so for now, I think we're gonna stop right there. Oh, you got a little somebody on your face. You read the deep sea line long enough and you'll either find to lose your memories. And you don't really seem to care. Okay. Was I the only one who thought custodian just meant janitor when I was a kid? Because, like, that's always what we called the janitor at my school. So when I found out that, like, oh, yeah, I want to be a custodian, I was like, you want to be a janitor? And <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. So what sort of person gets to live in Inkopolis when we don't? Splatoon! Hey, everyone. Today is a special day. A day that I didn't even know if we would get when I began this journey. Going into Grizzco Industries. Right on time, kid. I got work for you. The supplied weapons are four question marks. This is something that happens, I'd say, two, maybe three times a year. There have only been a handful of days in the history of Splatoon 2 where this has occurred, and I legit didn't know if it was going to happen during the run of the series. So, even though we've already played on Marooner's Bay once, we're just going to have another Salmon Run day than I expected to have, because this is rather important. On some days, there will be green question marks in the map rotation, and that means that you can be selected to play pretty much any weapon in that slot, including some exclusive weapons that are only in Salmon Run. As for a gold question mark, those exclusive Salmon Run weapons 
are all you will be playing. They're rather powerful indeed. Let's meet them. <laughs> Modified weapons, but it's for the greater good! Grizzco weapons! These show up on weapon rotations with question marks. A green question mark gives a random weapon with the possibility of giving one fixed Grizzco weapon when it rolls. There are special days that have only happened a handful of times within five years, where the rotation was four golden question marks. On these days, the team will be using four Grizzco weapons in every round. And we begin with Grizzco Blaster! The blasts have 35 minimum splash damage, 50 direct damage, and the range is that of a Luna Blaster, but the rate is that of a .52 gal, making it the fastest blaster of them all. Clears out mobs of enemies incredibly, and often scores multi-kills. As a blaster, it can deal flanking damage to scrappers and bring down a stinger fast. All weapons in Salmon Run have splat bombs for their sub and no abilities allowed. Plus, Mr. Grizz hands you these weapons without any choice, so... Abilities and special weapons and synergy are pretty irrelevant to how it plays. Not a whole lot else to say. It's broken and that's the point. Grizzco Brella. An undercover Brella that... has no Brella. So I guess it's just a Grizzco. Holding ZR fires continuously at the same rate as the .96 gal and does 60 damage per hit. It's very ink efficient, able to fire 50 times on a full tank. I'd probably describe this as the least remarkable Grizzco weapon. It's basically just a more efficient, more accurate .96 gal, which is nice, but it doesn't really specialize in destroying specific bosses. It's just a really good gun. Grizzco Charger, a modified bamboozler. As a refresher, or a uh, first time information because we haven't gotten that far yet, bamboozlers have constant range, and this plays off of that by having instant spammable shots and equal range to an E-leader. Another unique trait is the high striving speed to make it feel more like a shooter weapon while it spams away. The trade-off is damage. It deals 200, which is good but it just barely isn't a one hit on most boss salmonids, since standard chargers get bonus damage against practically all types of salmonids and bamboozlers do not. The ink consumption is 13%, so it can actually unleash seven attacks before having to reload. While it won't be one hitting a steelhead, this is a solid weapon as it takes out bosses from afar while being non-committal. Even if you're bad with chargers, this doesn't take nearly as much skill to just pound on weak points to help out the team. And lastly, Grizzco Slosher, as powerful as they come. It's a crossbreed of the sloshing machine's attack type and the Stingray doing continuous damage as it pierces through anything. The damage is utter madness at 150 minimum splash damage and 360 on a direct hit. The sloshes are the slowest continuous attack of any Grizzco weapon, and travel so slow that they stick in the air over a period of time, and then disappear after traveling a fixed distance roughly equal to the dynamo roller. As a trade-off, this has the highest ink consumption of nearly any weapon, legal or not, at 25%. Due to the simply titanic damage and ability to pierce through solid objects, this just ends scrappers and drizzlers without even having to wait for an opening. It damages through the splash walls of a griller or a steel eel, and is a rare weapon that can directly attack steelheads and the cockpits of flyfish. It's the ultimate weapon of Splatoon 2. Oh, I'm so happy I could present that information to you. I researched those things and there was very little information on exactly how they worked online. And I've been just so eager to get these out because I was so happy with how they came out. Let's go into freelance. I know 
know we were just on this map and all. It was the last one that we played, but it's okay by me. So I got the Grizzco Brella. It's not really so much of a Brella, just a uh, scattershot shotgun. And paint, really nice leg. I got a bomb rush for my special. Uh, School of Samonids on the shoreline. Uh, oh, it's low tide. Nobody did it this way, and I wasn't paying attention to the waves. I guess people are complacent when they have overpowered weapons. Uh, that guy's using the Grisco Slosher. There we got the Grisco Charger. I can see that. Look at just how much this tears everything up. Nothing will stand in your way. Not even small fries. Hit that. We almost, uh, we're a third of the way to the quota, only a few seconds into the match. If that doesn't speak volumes, I don't know what does. Ever wanted to rank up in Salmon Run? Pick one of these days. You'll do it easy as pie. It'll enable you to play on much higher difficulties than you could probably otherwise get away with. That's done. That's done. You're done. Thank you. Uh, you died with this. I shouldn't make fun of that, though. That, that can happen. I can't attack through the scrapper, but certain weapons can. Okay. Let me just... Whoop. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if that was actually mine. We've already met the quota, so at this point, it's just a matter of surviving. Uh, I'll get rid of you, just so you don't cause trouble for us. Uh, that up there, I'll take you out. I think... Oh! Uh, we almost lost. We were down to just one person. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Much, much better. Getting it together, getting it together. We're not gonna lose an easy match. We're only on professional 40. It's fine. It's what I mean by relax is some relaxing. It's what I mean by relaxing being important. No, it's what I mean by surviving is sometimes more important than egging. For my next round, I got the Grisco Blaster. Okay. So my job is gonna be taking out stingers with this weapon. Uh, the Grisco Blaster can easily take out a stinger with a headshot where it's a one hit kill. Anytime there is a stinger, I will rush over and take care of it. I also gotta remember my bomb rushes, because I got those too. Okay, so let's see if I can... Okay, I couldn't quite demonstrate it there, but yeah, it does a good job dispatching those, and with them being such dangerous enemies, it's a good thing to be aware of. Uh, this should be easy. Wow, that didn't... I couldn't one-cycle it. I'm really surprised there. For sure I'd have that. It does eat through ink rather fast. That is a downside to it. I can do that. Um... I'm having a hard time getting in close. I think I might bomb rush here and hopefully get it into the, uh, in there. Wow, uh, I'm gonna throw my bombs over there to revive you guys because we really need to pick up the pace. Okay, there we go. Gotcha. Good example of how a bomb rush can be used defensively. Or I guess for support, rather. Uh, that's kinda, it's kinda hard to hit stuff up close, actually. The small fries are still a problem for this weapon. They might be all-powerful, but they're not all-powerful, if that makes sense. That guy's the only one left. Please. Okay, good. Inkjet, inkjet, inkjet. Good, 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 good. Thank you. We still need to get seven in the next. If we're gonna win this, no! Oh! I got dissolved. Uh, no, please, please, please. Okay, thank God, thank God, thank God. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Oh my God, uh, my blast actually revived three people right there. I, I thought I was gonna lose for sure. Playing it safe. Gonna stay out of trouble. Don't even care if I get near the basket. We far exceeded the, the quota. There it is. And now I get one of the really. G I got the blaster again. What? No! Come on! I wanted one of the other two weapons. It's nighttime. Still low tide. Oh, we got the turrets. <laughs> turrets on top of the of Grizzka weapons. That's kind of funny. I thought it would give me a different one each time, but I guess not. I don't even need my headshots to be able to take those out. So, all the weapons in Splatoon. I've raved about how they're all real-world objects, and I think that's super creative, like how the Squid Kids kind of repurposed real-world objects to make their own play weapons out of. I think that that's super neat. But what about the Grizzco weapons? I'll show them to you on screen right now. They are illegal weapons, and they are made of prescription medication. Isn't that good? I can't believe that is really in a Nintendo game. The weapons that are banned for being too dangerous are made of drugs. 
That's unmistakable. They're prescription bottles and various other machinery. You cannot tell me that that is anything else and that was not the intention. It's clear as crystal. Take that. I get the feeling that if they make more Splatoon games in the future, that's probably going to get removed eventually in some sequel, but you know what they say. You can put anything in your kid's game until it's controversial in the news. Uh, I want to go over and take care of that guy. No one seems to be shooting. Yeah. Knockback is a cool mistress to me today. Over there, all right. Uh, take you out. Nobody is dealing with this. Gotcha. There we go. Yeah, this is... Blaster does a real good job taking them out. Just aim high, you'll hit the heads no problem. Gotcha. We actually failed. Wow. Far exceeded the first two quotas. I don't get why he's disappointed us. We delivered more eggs than he wanted in less time than he wanted. I don't, or the same amount of time that he wanted. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Pop. At least our pay grade was retained. Beginning of round two, I got the Grizzco Slosher. This thing, in scientific terms, rules. This thing is incredible. So, it's basically a sloshing machine that, as you saw in the guide, it pierces through stuff. It just hangs in the air for a while. It does absurd amounts of damage. It one-cycled that steel eel. No, it one-shot at that steel eel. If I hit this maws right here, just retreated back into the ink, didn't really get to do much there. Okay, there we go. I just gotta bomb that. Don't really need to pierce its tough hide. It does have a long startup time. That is the downside. We'll hit that. And if we can find scrappers, that'll actually uh, show something that I really want to show. I'm gonna deal with this over here. Just because you are dangerous and nobody's over here. Nobody's even painted any turf over this way. Uh, it's always the knockback that gets me. I get knocked into another attack, or I get knocked into the water, or something or another. Get me over there, bamboozler. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna bomb here. There we go. And I know that I can take you out no problemo. Or a uh, yes problemo. You don't really hear that too often. I do have my Stingray. That was kind of one of the reasons that I wanted a rematch on this one, because um, I didn't get a chance to showcase how good Stingray is on this map before. So if there was one map I could do over, definitely this one. Um, we only need one more egg. Scrappers, scrappers, scrappers. The waves are kind of tame, honestly. I know it's wave one, but still. Huh. I was going to show that the armor in front of the scrapper doesn't matter because this has pierce properties, so you can just attack through the scrapper's armor in the front. Nope. Didn't see a single, didn't see a one. I'm sure there was one in the background that was really obvious to you who wasn't playing, and that happens. <laughs> we got, okay, so I'm the, I'm the Brella, okay. Really wanna get that charger before we uh, we pack it in for the day. All right, ready, go. Boss salmon at alerts. From where? Um, is it, is it low tech? I hit X to see the map. Where? How did I, how did I miss that? That was right in front of my face. I had a bit of a stomach ache today. I hope I'm not getting sick or something like that. I feel great right now, so. Just hit all of you. This thing is really good on lesser duty. I'll give it that. The Grisco Slosher is too, where it can just pierce through a ton of lessers while it takes out a boss in the back. Um, anytime they're ever crowding around it. Let's shoot you in the back, there we go. Gotcha. These days are just so fun. It's rewards ahoy. If you're low level, then you ever see the map rotation looking like this? Absolutely play it. You'll unlock stuff like nobody's business. Uh, hit that. Nope. Uh, I think it's time for Stingray. I do. Just gonna deal with all of you. Gonna hit you through your armor. That's pretty good. Can't hit you through with this weapon. I can go behind you and do the same. It was already colored in for you, welcome my stingray. Uh, oh, uh, where was that coming from? Where was that coming from? Uh, 
Where? Oh, it's on the other side. Uh huh. <laughs> it's okay. Finch is taking care of it. Just don't forget what your mission is. Gonna help. Gonna help. Give me the help, help. Wave two cleared. And now on wave three, I am the on the umbrella again. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, I think I'm gonna need to like head ahead until I can get the charger. Every time I say something's easy, <laughs> we retained our pay grade once more. Oh baby, Grisco Slush! Look at this! I am damaging him from the front. With two sloshes, you can destroy a scrapper through its armor while hitting the enemies around it. Look at that, two hits, done. And then if I can also show this, another property that makes it just, oh, such a good weapon. The low ink, the high ink consumption is not that big of an issue as long as it's well managed though, because you saw how many enemies I was able to take out there, even doing well on lesser duty. That thing's done. Uh, there's the Drizzler. Uh, I'll take out another scrapper right near base, sure. It's pretty well lured already. There, the fly fish. Just like the explosion. I hit the middle and I was able to instantly destroy it. You thought the explosion and the inkjet were good being able to just destroy the missile racks on those things normally? Nah, the Grisco slosher is the real deal. Target the cockpit in the middle and you will win. Uh, let's try the let's try a stinger. Yeah, it destroyed an entire stinger in one hit by just putting the attack around the middle of the body. That one's done. It cleans up. It really does. Hey, it's a bucket. What did you expect? We're at 24 right now. All four of us are alive. We got these lured right next to the basket. 30. 31, perhaps? Nah, just 30. Uh, only doubling the objective. The Grisco Slosher, with two Grisco Slossers on that rotation, we should be ashamed. Grisco Charger, yes! Okay, mid-tide, mid-tide. So this is a lot like a bamboozler. Got instant range on it. The ink consumption on it can be a problem if it is mindlessly spammed. That is one problem that this weapon tends to have. Uh, you can pierce through a line of enemies, like so. Just like any charger, any charger is able to do that in this mode as long as it's hitting for 100 damage, and you can bet your sweet bippies it's hitting for over 100 damage with this thing. Um, needed to revive you, thank you. And then, yeah, you're seeing the pierce damage on this and just how much you can rack up with it in a short amount of time. Uh, let me go back over here. I don't think I can hold my charge while swing, though I can, it is a bend. Back into my ink. I think it might be special time here. Oh, okay, I wanna see if I can do this. Okay. Okay, let's just do that. Hit the missile racks, not get fancy. <laughs> of course I die, of course I die. Uh, give me this, thank you. I hadn't even picked up an egg yet. I was just focusing so much on killing. Gonna go up. Need to play defense. If I wasn't wrong, I just wasn't fast. Uh, only our charger is still alive. Or, uh, yeah, only our blaster is still alive. You can't have multiple weapons in the same rotation, so uh, a multiple of the same weapon doesn't usually happen any other time. Oh god, okay. He's dead. He's gone. He's dead and gone. It's a good combination of things. I didn't win a single round. <laughs> Breaking even's nice and all. I was hoping to make a little progress. <laughs> that gives me two bubbles. Yep, two bubbles. All right, we did it. <laughs> useless gold, useless tickets, useless clothing. I wanna go in the nude. Well, that is 
an unexpected additional topic for Salmon Run. And now I think we're gonna end things there. Next time on Splatoon 2, we're going to be going over the weapon Cap'n Cuttlefish carries on him. Didn't see a weapon on him? Ah, you'll understand. See you guys then.